Hi guys, welcome back to a new Boomy video. Today, I'm on my low level account. Also, if you want to cop some of these, some people have been asking about this shirt, a link is down below to our merch page. It's been there for a very long time, but some of you have been asking about it. So guys, today I'm gonna clear all of my, or maybe not all, but I'm gonna attack and clear as many resource bases as I possibly can. So first of all, this landing craft upgrade, we're gonna finish. I have one more landing craft upgrade to level 19. I'm very excited because landing crabs are very annoying to upgrade. So when attacking NPC bases, we need damage and we need some combo energy. That's all the boosting I'm gonna do at the moment, not NPC, resource bases. I don't need to boost up anything if I was to attack NPC bases. Okay, so this base, very low HP. We're just gonna bard it down. So I used to tell people, don't take down resource bases because if you ever decide to push, Getting an additional 50 medals from clearing all of your resource spaces gets you a, a ton of medals and it can be that little extra push to get to the top of the leaderboard. Most of you are not going to be pushing for the leaderboard. And ever since I discovered the little glitch, not I don't know if it's a glitch, taking down resource spaces is kind of helpful. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know the boats that come to your island to bring you loot. Those boats, well now it's only one boat. That boat that brings you loot from all these little islands of yours, that boat does not have a loot cap. It will keep growing loot forever and ever and players cannot take that loot. So I've been saving this resource boat here for about two weeks. I haven't clicked on it. Once I need a lot, a lot of loot, probably like 10 million of each, I can click on it, get 10 million and do a couple big upgrades. So when you attack resource bases, you're able to increase your production per hour, which means you'll get more loot, which means you'll grow your loot faster and you know the drill. So in my opinion, I think it's very worthwhile to take down resource bases. Now you might get into a feud with other players that own the same resource base. If you don't know how resource bases work, basically one base is controlled by three different players. So me, the guy that owns this base, and one other player somewhere all own the same resource base. And there's like a feud between you. I don't think they ever randomize. So if you get matched up with some players and then you go inactive for a while, they go inactive for a while, they quit the game, you come back to the game, or you continue playing the game, you're very lucky if you don't have this little feud on your resource bases. And there's always people that are just always active, it seems like. I don't know anyone that has all of their resource bases inactive, where they own them all and no one else is attacking them. That would be very cool if it was the case. Also, it's not looking good for this base, but can we do it? Just barely clutched it out. We have one warrior left. What makes it harder is you get matched up with players that are also active. So the three players that own a resource base are all active players at the very beginning. So you have to be matched up with active players, then they have to quit, and then you have to own the resource base. I forgot to retrain. So that's basically how resource bases work. That's how they've worked pretty much since Boom Beach came out. I'm not sure if they changed it at any point. It hasn't been on any release notes, so if it was like a fix behind the scenes, that would be a little weird um, because it's a pretty big deal. But yeah, just if I had to give you some advice, I would say take down your resource bases when you have a chance. It's not something that needs to be done as fast as possible, but I think controlling as many resource bases as you can can be super helpful. The best troop combination to take down resource bases is Smoky Warriors by far. There are some high level resource bases that I probably won't get any in today's video just because I'm a lower level player. But for this, for example, this base is crazy strong. We're gonna actually load up Taunt. For my last video, Taunt worked incredibly well with my Warriors. So a base like this looks very tough. Now I probably could find a new opponent or whatever and have a base that's probably a little bit easier. I lost the, oh, that was so stupid. And probably find a base that has a lot less defenses, a lot less ice, and is a lot easier. But the problem with that is if you find a new opponent, it's gonna match you up again with active players. And again, that's not what we want. We wanna get matched up against players that are inactive. 
This base is so freaking strong, too. This actually sucks. But it does no good holding a base that you just cannot defeat, so... I don't really know what to do here. I'm not going to be able to beat it unless I'm on a full boost. You know what? If I had boosted damage, I could take that out. Or if I had boosted health or more energy, I could take that out. So I'm not going to worry about it now. When I do another full boost, I can come back in and clear it. Here's another base. Level 57. We'll flare to this. There's also resource bases that are owned by no one. Everyone has a few of those. Basically, it just says resource base, and it doesn't include the owned by. Those are really, really nice because no one else is going to take them. So you don't have to worry about other people um, controlling your resource base. So take those out as fast as possible. I usually attack those as soon as I unlock them, unless I forget. So if you come across a base that's only owned by you, take it out as fast as possible. That way you just get that loot. No one else is going to take it back from you. Okay. That was nice. And we'll go to the next player. Here is a level 46. A lot of HP. I just shot my troops at the bottom. It's always nice seeing ice on my main account if I attack any resource base. They have a ton of ice. All of the bases are filled up like max with stuff. I think there was a time when I found new resource bases at one point for some of them. Um, but a lot of them, I would say the majority, are the original resource base I got. So if those players are still active, that'd be really, really cool. I don't know if, if there are players that are inactive, if they'll put active players on it after a certain amount of time. I don't think so, but you never know. That would make sense, I guess. This player has about 30% health boost, probably like a masterpiece. And it looks like maybe a higher level I'm just guessing at this point. There's no way to know. I was saying it's probably a higher level player with ice that I got a while ago, but there's no way to know that, so I shouldn't be hypothesizing about that. That flare to the core. Troops are splitting like crazy. I do have a lot of energy, so it doesn't really matter. This space looks pretty easy. Taunt should cover all of the machine guns, but that one looks like okay. We have to get a couple more shocks on. I have so much energy, it's not even fair. A level 46 also, it's pretty easy. So let me know down below if you are someone that takes down your resource bases as soon as they come up on your map, or if you're saving them for a leaderboard push, because saving them is definitely a meta. I think a lot of leaderboard players probably probably try to save their resource bases until they are in view of this golden number one. I remember in the old days, someone would hit number two and then like the next day they would jump up like a hundred victory points, pretty much just from resource bases. There's not a hundred resource bases, but um, maybe not a hundred, but they jump up a lot. So it, it definitely is a matter of saving them. If you're ever trying to push for the leaderboard, don't take out your research spaces. But like I said, the majority of you guys, if not all of you guys, are not gonna be leaderboard players. You're not gonna push for the leaderboard. That is incredibly difficult and takes a long time. And it used to take a lot of money, but I don't think it takes a lot of money anymore because you can just get instant training and you don't have to spend diamonds training up your troops. You know, after you have a maxed out base, it's probably one of the only games that you don't need a lot of money to push for the leaderboard to. I mean, top players used to spend thousands of dollars pushing on the leaderboard, but now you just don't need that, which is interesting. I never really thought about that before because if you're in Clash of Clans, I'm sure you have to pay for stuff. I don't think Clash of Clans has, um, I don't think Clash of Clans has an instant training option. I'm pretty sure you just have to pay gems to train up your troops. I don't know about Brawl Stars or Clash Royale, but it seems like Boom Beach might be one of the only games that allows you to push and not have to spend a lot of money. Of course, that's after you max out your base, after you spend two and a half years upgrading stuff constantly with, I mean, instant training helps. So you spend a lot of money, but honestly, it's a pretty cheap game to max out. It's a pretty cheap game to push on too. 
There are cheaper games though. So Rocket League, for example, is free. <laughs> I actually am really getting into Rocket League. I don't know how many of you guys play Rocket League or watch YouTubers play Rocket League, but Jimmy and I posted a couple of Rocket League videos over on our second channel. So uh, that's it, it, it's fun, but we're not very good. That was a while ago too. I was probably like silver back then, but now I'm uh, up in plat. Well, I was up in plat, but season three came out and they uh, changed MMR, so now I'm diamond, which is interesting. But I'm gonna be done talking about that rocket because Pretty sure there are very few of you that care about Rocket League. I don't know why I'm attacking a player base. <laughs> I have no clue what prompted me to attack this player, but I'm just gonna defeat them and go back to resource bases. Why did I attack them? This is supposed to be a resource based takeover, and instead it's turning into a player base takeover. There we go, Grib gets taken out. Let's go back to resource bases. They look very similar, to be honest, so that's probably why I started attacking it. This player is a level 57. Okay, that's one of the easiest level 57 resource bases in the next. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Taunt is gonna be so useful here. I just need to see which flamethrowers he is able to taunt. Definitely not those back ones. One of them, actually. Ooh, the mortars are actually pretty tough. We'll activate taunt again, and the base goes down. I did lose a lot more troops than I thought I would. I thought I wouldn't lose any troops, but I think the mortars and the few flamethrowers that hit me were able to take down a few troops. This sucks. I have to go back to my base to train up my troops every time because the button is like disabled or something. Okay, here is a level 60. Has a lot of ice. All of these resource bases always have ice. It's very annoying. But I love taking down resource bases on my main account. Players have even more ice on my main account. And it is so much fun attacking high level bases and just demolishing them because there's no mines when it comes to resource bases. In my opinion, Resource bases need a serious makeover. Resource bases are not very fun, in my opinion, and kind of useless. I think they need a major rework. And after that, I think they'll be a lot better, but just some of the things I want to see changed. I guess more um, variety in the defenses. So mines, give us mines, give us prototypes. Give us that sort of thing for resource bases. Maybe make a new map layout. That'd be kind of cool. Getting a little tired of the current maps. But anyway, we'll do one more resource base. I'm not going to train up. Here's a level 60. A very easy, kind of an easy level 60. This is interesting. He has 50% building health. Um, it could be a boosted up building health. Or it could be a guardian in a building health. The reason I hypothesize about that is I want to know if the player I'm attacking is active. And I'll know in a few days if they take back my resource base, but it's nice knowing when you're attacking them. And if they have boosted statues or a lot of ice, it kind of makes me feel like maybe they're an active player. Okay, but this level 60 drops. That was very scary. I did not think I was going to get it at that last second, but we were able to pull off the win. Most of the resource bases we were able to clear. I still have a bunch more I need to take out in the future. Let me know down below if you want to see another resource base takeover. We'll see how many of these players take back their resource bases. But yeah, I got a bunch of medals, which is nice. It doesn't really matter. And what's better is I now get way more loot from um, these resource bases every hour now that I took them out. So I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.